Welcome to the channel. Out here, just got done mowing the grass. Uh, if you seen the title of this video, I am surrounded by poison hemlock. Well, that would be false. And the reason I'm doing this video is I've had several comments. Uh, people said, is that poison hemlock? Is that poison hemlock? And that is one plant when I was in the military that we learned how to identify. And I, I don't think I ever answered anybody because I knew it wasn't poison hemlock. Uh, what you are probably seeing is this. This is known as common yarrow. It is a medicinal plant. It is abundant in the United States. I'm not going to get too close. I'll blow it up on the editor because, you know, GoPros don't zo zoom in close. They smell good. Mmm. And the way you could tell the difference, if this was hemlock, the leaves would not be like that. They would look more like carrots, like a carrot leaf. These have a fern-like leaf. Also on the stock, if it was a uh, poison hemlock, you would have reddish uh, spots. It would be smooth, no hairs on it. Kind of like that, that color. Uh, these are real skinny. Uh, and actually poison hemlock, they, you know, they'll get bigger, big as round as my finger. So that's what this is. It's, it's, this is what you're seeing. All right, we're going to walk around. I've, I've researched several, uh, and they also attract bees and all the good flying things. See, they're interested in it. We'll get to that in a second. So, this is good to have around. It's medicinal. It's used for a lot of things. Natives have used it for hundreds of years. All right, let's move on to this. These guys are called ox-eyed daisies and they grow from like late April to about July you can see they look like daisies that's what they're called ox-eyed daisies and we got some more yarrow coming up now that has a different leaf on it so that could very well be hemlock but I don't see it in the base there. We'll have to wait and see on that. That could also be Queen Anne's Lace. In fact, that's probably, yeah, it's, when you get up towards the top, that's what it looks like. They're too small to tell. I personally have not seen any, ah, oh, sorry guys, a bee. <laughs> Something didn't like me messing with a flower. I haven't personally seen any on this property. Uh, I do keep my eyes out for that. Actually, there's not a lot of reports of it around here. So we're going to move on to some other things I've identified. A lot of the stuff, I didn't know what it was. I did some research. A lot of it I've already cut down or it's died. Here's some more oxide daisies. They look nice. I try to leave some out, you know, to keep the bees and stuff around. There's some more yarrow. Notice the leaves. And more daisies. And back in here is where I usually have, uh, well, it's like honeysuckle. I can't think of an ad. Arkansas beard tongue will grow back in here. Usually, probably can't even get to it this year. All right, let's move on. I found some other things. All right. Getting close to the puppy's feeding time. So they hopefully won't start barking. We're going to go all the way into the back here. I figured I'd better just put this video out. Because, you know, Myrtle and, and and John over in Kansas somewhere might have bought a piece of property. And they seen that comment in one of my videos. And I heard, seen somebody comment on Jeff's video today if that was uh, poison hemlock. And then Myrtle sees it and she says, we're not going there. They got poison hemlock. That's the stuff that killed Socrates. You know, Socrates, that guy that thunk a lot. Yeah. So, we have to put a video out. Let me see. I didn't find anything in here. The little red flowers, 
And I haven't been able to identify this stuff. There's so many purple ones. Uh, but I will look into that. There is a lot of that growing around in little purple flowers. Uh, let me keep my eyes peeled. There's something down here. Oh, here we go. And this is, I believe that's an orange cone flower. Not sure. Some sort of a sunflower. And we get those. They're just, they're already dead. They're already dying. Their season's up. I believe that's what that is. I may be wrong. I ain't no one of them hortomycologists. I ain't one of them. I just do my research. And let's see, where did I see other flyers? Yeah, back in here where I haven't finished weed eating. You know, I did a big walk around here. I'll be dipped if I can't find any. Ah, there's some more of them dudes over there. And more of them purple ones. All right. Well, here's another little kind. I can't remember the name of it now. I'm terrible at trying to remember names. Little purple ones there. Uh, half the ones I found, I can't find again. There's another one. That I've seen, and it's on my list, and I just don't remember <laughs> which one it was. And them little red flowers, I identified them, but I don't think there's any left. Let me look. Because those are called royal catch flies. But I ran them all over with the mower. They don't grow very long. Yeah, I don't see any more. I hope there ain't going to be anything in there. There. There's a Puppagus amelogophagus. Yep, they're often found growing under trailers, keeping cool. Yeah, they like it where it's cool, don't you, Millie? Yeah. Well, is that one there? Nope, poison ivy. That stuff don't bother me, I gotta eat that stuff. So, you guys got any exotic plants growing in here? Do you have any exotic plants? that I need to make a movie about. What about you, Oreo? You got a cow belly. Yeah, you guys are doing the popcorn dance. Well, you guys look much better now that the sun's out. Yeah. I put some more of that cream on them yesterday. They look good. We gotta get you guys homes, man. You don't need to be in there. But your hooligans, all of you, your hooligans. And here's some kind of wild clover. And the ones that are in the back are purple uh, prairie clovers. There's a Tilligus mopopagophus. Yep, she likes to eat the flowers. And that's what we got there. Here's some little purple dudes. Let me go around the side here. Ooh, that skitty squash just blew up. That stuff go. So did the ochre. I'm gonna come through here. Usually I find them little red flowers around these trees here. But I ain't finding them. Go look over here. I'm gonna put the tarp back on the mower. Yeah. Lily, you got any you got any flowers you wanna show us? There's a Waldus Lapopagus. That's you. Waldorius. There's some wild carrot looking things there. I don't know, guys. I had stuff picked out. There's some yellow ones I found. Now I can't find them. And if, and if I did, I probably don't remember what they're called. But I do know about that stuff. You say to the left? Okay. He has to guide me. I did go to the left. He said my other left. Dogs never, never, never believe dogs. All right, let's see. Certain flowers like to grow in this shade. Uh, 
This is a Dennis Logus. That tree was dead when I moved in. Man, I'll come out here and chip away at it. Get this thing out of here. I don't see any more, guys. But, did want to make a video on the hemlock. Don't see any around. I have never seen any around. If I had, I'd have been into it. Trust me. Uh, I got into poison ivy the other day. It that barely does anything to me, but it's got me on the wrists. Didn't even really show a rash. Uh, let's see. Got to, oh, I haven't checked this area. This is an area that's known to have things. Yeah, since I've weed eated, pretty much wiped out anything. Only that area over there, I leave that alone. Yeah, we don't got anything in here. All right, guys. I am not overrun by hemlock. So now you know the rest of the story. Happy trip. All right, well, tried to identify the other i did find some other yellow ones uh i'm gonna include at the end of this uh, i'm gonna go ahead and feed the puppies i'm gonna let y'all watch that that's fun uh if you hang out to the end i have hundreds of pictures i'm not gonna put hundreds up i'll put some of my photos back when i was really into photography i'll put them uh at the end of the different types of flowers i've taken pictures of on this property so you can get a better idea of what i got here so uh right now i'm gonna go feed the puppies Let's go. All right, I'm gonna show you guys in real time what it's like to feed these little Favorite time of the day. Nope. That is a wild, wild monster. Ready? Get back. Get back. Nobody knows. All right, first thing I've got to do while they're busy, which never works, is scoop. It's fun, isn't it? Get some poppies. Uh, happy trails. <laughs> 